Listen. Listen. Do. What it do? What it do? do. What it look like? Damn, that was a good one. That was one of the best. <laughs> that was a fucking good one. That was was one of the best, dude. and it's appropriate that we would do one of the best, dude, for our 142nd episode of the Now You Listen we podcast. We go mad dude. hard on 142, 142, dude. We've been keeping it 142 since fucking. Probably about 103, if I can remember. Yo. We've been really pushing toward this date, dude. And it's finally here. Yeah, fucking 142. First One quad deuce up in this. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot, dude. We got a lot. Tons. On the board tonight, dude. Stuff that people have been really hitting us up on the nets want to mm-hmm. know about. And we got y'all. Different platforms. We're hitting Rumble heavy lately, dude. I don't know if you know, but we kind of mm. blew up on Rumble. Nice. I did not know. I did yeah. not know. Yeah, we're Are we rumbling in Rumble? So rumbled up, dude. We're structurally probably unsound, dude. Like tectonic rumbles? Yeah, we weren't. We weren't. Uh, our infrastructure wasn't built for that amount of rumbling. Let's just say that. Dude, <laughs> rumble. <laughs> The jungle. So you can find us on the Rumble too, apparently, dude. If you want to do that, we're working on some. That pat- sounds like a, pat- <coughs> a sexual dating site. Yeah, we're working on some patches. Oh, no, that's and Bumble. Some updates. And Bumble. Stuff. Bumble. Yeah, Bumble. that's okay. a different one. Dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we got some new stuff on the website. Mm-hmm. Always updating the website, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some new shit up on there. There right? is some brand new stuff, dude. Some hot off the presses, shit. Yeah, we hot have hot off the toesies. Unfortunately, we've discontinued the now you listen tire chains as mm-hmm. our death rate exceeded the viability of what we were producing. And it's a seasonal thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, we're, we're working see, on spring anyways. The, the problem was yeah. that there was a whole bunch of rednecks who were, were buying up our tire chains and strapping them on and just lighting up the asphalt with them because you can drift like a motherfucker yeah. off that magnesium s- chains we're uh-huh. the only one in the industry with magnesium chains the drift yep. they, they they were also drift chains depending oh, on yeah. how you yeah. wanted to use oh, yeah. them and know? they'd be torching up the block with those right. magnesium nobody else is <laughs> hey, nobody else is selling those nah dude no. it's unheard of right? it's an yeah. entertainment value yeah. as well you know it's no like what? having some like neon underlights right. or yeah. something but it really went even, south when when homie <laughs> Really went south when homie posted that video and he was trying to light up a cigarette and homie was yeah. lighting up the magnesium yeah. chains and it just yeah. you know a bunch of filaments flew off, hit him in the face and just fucking torched homie the fuck. Up. Yeah, that was North Carolina yeah. though. You know how those boys yeah. are. Oh, yeah, yeah. But true. still, the social media, the comment section. Yeah. North yeah. Carolina, yeah. come yeah. on a razor, take your shirt off, <laughs> wave it around your head, <laughs> helicopter. Like a hel- yeah. That's it. Dude. Torch yeah. your face up you with know. some magnesium spike chains. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we've discontinued those, dude. But we have brought a new product, dude. One of probably our better products. Uh-huh. And it's, I don't know if we're going to hit it off in the sister company with the Tranquility mm. Spa that you're working with. But it we got be. sock in a jar. Boom. That's a man's shock. Mm-hmm. In a jar. And that's after an eight hour work day, right? That's there. a work day it, sock. It depends. Yeah. There's levels to it. There it right. is. Right. There is yeah. tiers. There, yeah. there is. Yeah. yeah. So, as Chris was saying earlier, if you're a woman without a man and you really don't want a man, <laughs> but you want the stank of a man every once in a while, you get yourself a now you listen sock jar mm-hmm. and you. What did you say? Finger your pussy while smelling my stank foot? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah no. that was what he said. Yeah. I, mean, that's, that's, I don't remember saying that. Yeah, but okay. behind closed doors. That, that is the motto. Wow, yeah. man, you know? Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> or you could use <laughs> your pussy to my stank sock. You could keep it as a preserve for, like, you know, every once in a while. We all lose uh, one sock, you know? Mm, yeah. And you're left with that. Be a backup. That one sock that has no match, right. you get to now you listen stank sock. Hey, yo, you're matched a, up. You're a single, After you pleasure you're, yourself. You're a single lady living in the woods, mm-hmm. and you get some people coming around that you don't know. You yeah. might want to put the sock outside and 
put yeah. off that fucking man stink yeah. and pheromones yeah. let them drift through the woods. Why, why yeah. is she living in the woods? Well, a lot of women live in the woods by themselves. Yeah, Do, yeah is that yeah. a thing? A lot, yeah. a lot of single women living up in the woods? There's yeah. plenty. Yeah, yeah. That, those... need, that need to signal suiters with a no. stink sock? I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying to, to fend off like any... To thwart off would-be rapists? Yeah, well, not rapists, but bears. I mean, if you're it, could be, it could be bears. Yeah. It could be... Well, oh, that, you know. that brings up... <laughs> Moose? <laughs> that, that brings up a good point, dude, because like <laughs> this particular batch of stink sock is bear-rated. It'll, it'll thwart bears, mm-hmm. moose, caribou... Wolves, Mountain lion, coyotes, Ooh. badgers, wolverines, Gila mm. monsters, <laughs> piccadillies. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, snow, snow leopards, snow leopards. <laughs> the ribeye in the sky. <laughs> talking about a turkey vulture? No, the oh. the sandhill crane. Oh damn! The more sandhill crane. Ooh, yeah. Lots of. Arachnids, most arachnids, seventy <laughs> percent of the arachnids genus. Mm-hmm. If you get up into the species, it's only about forty-five percent effective. <laughs> they do attract fucking salamanders. Though, yeah, I, I found. Yeah, skinks. we're working on that. Though. It's got a real draw to skinks. Yep, mollusks. <laughs> <laughs> mollusks are migrating from the waters. <laughs> Some have been seen growing little nubs too. Kind of. Yeah. You can see almost the. Starting Walk. You can see Don't in the jar the, the moisture content <laughs> is high, dude. The, so that's what's going to attract a lot of the, yeah. Yeah. the real low pressure beings. Yeah. <laughs> you might drag up a, a, a Kinodermata. You know, I don't even know what that sea is. Sea cucumber. Oh, yeah, let's go, I'm, bro. I jerked off a sea cucumber once. <laughs> yeah. So don't take that thing in the ocean. Right. That's probably yeah. otherwise you're bad. You're idea. attracting all the mollusks and sea cucumbers in the whole area. Fair amount of them, at least. Yeah. You might come out of the ocean with barnacles on. Yeah. You, you know? Yeah. You barnacled don't, up. Don't sure. even. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not a good look. Yeah. yeah. You get that fucking it's a pain in the ass to get those things off. For yeah, sure. and I'm keeping them limited, dude, because I had a couple of people get that barnacle foot like way out deep. Mm. They they took it and then they, you know, <laughs> <laughs> fucking barnacle foot. <laughs> <serious, bro. laughs> you thought but trench foot was bad? It started barnacle sinking. Foot. sinking dude. It's the yeah. worst of the sea diseases. It is. Yeah, people. Dude, as everybody's been saying, it's the worst. Of right? They have the been saying yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the further you go, the more weight you get on your foot, and it's right. so, it's like the. The self-dragging concrete shoe. Mm-hmm. Every step, yeah. you get a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier. And next thing you know, you're three feet under and you can't. Yeah. yeah you, you got a whole barnacle foot. What are you going to do? Yeah, you got a whole reef growing off of this, <laughs> yeah. this bad boy here. <laughs> this could probably repopulate the majority of the situation in Australia that they got going on with the Great Barrier Reef. So what you're saying is we should... Uh, Drop a couple of those in the ocean, yeah, and just let no, the whole ecosystem no, no. They start need, growing. They need to go to nowyoulisten.com. They need to drop their nine bucks. Mm-hmm. It's nine bucks. Yeah, comes with the patch. Yeah, and that's one or two socks in there. One, you can that's get it. Sock. You can get it lightly worn. You yeah. can get it. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. work week, or you can get it. You know, like you get, yeah, summer like summer fucking work fucking. Sock. Are we offering jizz socks? No. 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 Oh, God damn. Fuck. Bridge Man. too far? Yeah, that's a little Bridge bit. too far? We so, hey, dude. 142 that. episodes deep, dude. Welcome. It's your boy, Rumble X Fish on the Instagrams. <laughs> what do you do this time? You're you fucking you're the guy. He, he was like, like, I try the, to keep it easy. Like, I don't know. I don't know what this was, but like right here because that's where the show it shows up. Oh, okay, I got yeah. you. So you got your boy in the Situation Room. Yep. What up? On the wheels of steel. Boop, Desert boop. Kids Productions. Oh, no. The the R S. T A C A K S on the Instagrams. Yep. Get more closer. Yeah. What the up? number Shout one out. with the booyaka. <laughs> it's fucking Trilla Watkins on the Yay. Instagram. Yeet. He always does know the rainbow. You'll find me right there. That's what we're doing. That guy. But hey, you know we're celebrating stuff. And t- and Fuck this, yeah. This week we're celebrating Flannel Day, dude. And boop, if you boop. want 
you got to have a couple of flannels on deck, dude. I see that you came decked out in something that not quite flannel, but it is. Yeah, print. yeah. And you don't. You're not the best reader anyway when it no. comes to messaging. No. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't read shit. Yeah, you really don't. No, I can't even read a situation. No, I see you sending a lot of texts to Tristan and responding right away. But yeah, did you guys text me? <laughs> well, think, we. I don't think you did. D we let you know about flannel day, right? I don't think yeah. I was privy to any of this. Oh, you weren't. Probably just because you're mostly a middle. I can seat. guarantee you, there at no point did somebody text me and say, "Hey, it was flannel day." Because if anybody enjoys a good flannel, it's your boy. Yeah, it, yeah. You gotta have one. I got flannels days. on deck for it, sure. But, I got but flannels. For you didn't. Day you didn't week. get you. So I got the call. I mean, I don't know. Did you get a text? I didn't get shit. Oh. I wasn't even in a group message. Mm. I think you guys had like a separate fucking message. I don't think it was in that one. Without me in it. I, th it I think it was what's happening one. here. You know, we do. He actually. wasn't on the he wasn't on the call? He wasn't on the call. No, I don't call oh. him no more. Oh. I just assume he's gonna show up, and if he doesn't, we always have uh contingencies. Contingencies. Yeah, That's some people way. get thrown under the bus like yeah. hey, we need you middle seat, hot seat. So Maybe. well, you know me, dude. Well, I've you been could flannel, say that, or you could say, you know, days. like, we're pulling you off the but This one right here, this one came from my grandfather out of his closet. When he Whoa. died, I snatched a couple this of hot... This slick as fuck, it bro. Is I snatched a couple of very, hot items out of there. It is very... That's a thick one, too. Very like, refined. Yeah. That's very a, that's uh, yeah. great material. What is that? It is. And you see how it's got a lot of fur on it, too? Yeah. This thing will really light up, dude. Let me show you. I like that. You know how when you light a sock on fire, it'll do the, the, the yeah, yeah up this, the leg. This will do, do that. Too? So I might, I might, um, um, self emoliate right here, but that's for the show, dude. So <laughs> yeah, it'll be yeah. good. <laughs> I'll stomp you out. All right. Well, it, yeah, that was very, <laughs> very anticlimactic. Yeah. But right I mean, there. it did really seem like it got rid of some of the, the yeah. longer hairs. Yeah, on you it. got some of them fuzzies going. Did yeah. he have a cat? No, dude, just, that's just the growing process of a solid Western flannel. It doesn't smell like a like an old flannel in a grandpa's closet. Well, because I've had it for a while. Oh, you've had it. Yeah. So you you got your stank on it. Yeah, yeah. You could tell that that is a a good quality, just very understated, like yeah. clean flannel for yeah. sure. Appreciate that. Though. Now yeah. I know this is hard to accomplish, but I've always kind of wondered. Why wouldn't you want the pocket to follow the same pattern and almost disappear? Decoration, I'm thinking. I never quite understood that. It's got to be an Eddie Bauer or something, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dude. It's nice. I, I I feel like they did that on purpose. Like, I don't feel like because it was I've, just... I've, I've, because I've, it's perfect on both sides. Right? Yeah. And no, I'm no, never, I'm talking about the po pockets on both sides. Yeah, and I've never seen one that actually followed the same pattern. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, there's got to be, I mean, you have a stitch of fabric, and you put it on for a pocket, but why wouldn't you try to match it? Right, up? yeah, so it kind of just disappears a little bit. Yeah. Like, I've never seen one right. one time. Sure. Which sure. is kind of weird to me. Yeah. Hey, let me get a smoke, bro. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Bro? Well, I mean, there you go right there. Yeah, when you want to, I mean. I think he just came from uh, East L.A. right now. Eh? It's, he stepped his game up. Look at those pockets are matching. They are matching. What? <laughs> I've never seen one yet. And then all of a sudden you just fucking whipped one out. He's been known to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you I'm ain't kinda, doing that? I'm, I'm kind of like beside myself right now. I was literally just talking about it and truly have never seen it. Up until this up moment until in time. Up until this moment in time. This moment in time. Look at mine. Yeah. My shit's even off. And all it is up. like some simple prints. And they, and they could have even like come close, you know? Yeah, it's all but random. they didn't. Bruh. Bruh. What do you do? You do? I love it when I mean, I'm like... Yeah, yeah dude. Uh, dude. We're you folks. never cease to impress We're me. We're folks, dude. No? Never cease to impress me. I am not your third dad for nothing, dude. You know? I got a, I got big shoes to fill, dude, with fucking Leminsk is the number mm -hmm. one. Huge Then shoes, fucking man. Larry, you know, he's fucking not tall, but he got big-ass shoes. Mm -hmm. 
He's about five foot three and a half with sixteens, right? Oh. Sixteen double wide. <laughs> Sixteen and three quota. If we're, if we're double here. wide, dude. You, gotta, <laughs> you gotta order the special from the cobbler. <laughs> yeah, the they yeah. do have to get cobbled. <laughs> I've seen yep. I've seen Larry order a pair of thirteens and have a fucking three and a half inch extendo fucking fit done on it just to mm-hmm. just so he gets it right. Yep. Now he's got some bunions on the sides. Yeah. That, and he, he, they mm-hmm. need to be stretched out. You know yeah. how hard it is to find a good cobbler these days? It is, dude. It truly <laughs> is. A cobbler is a dying <laughs> right? breed, dude. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I have a condom cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He stitches, <laughs> stitches up my old worn out <laughs> so I can get the fucking again. You know, you, know, you oh like a blowout or you know, they tear a lot. You know, <laughs> <laughs> put a little bit of shoe goo on the oh reservoir tip. God. Just yeah. fucking coat it up. Yeah, some airplane glue. Yeah, a little condom cobbling. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I've been rolling. That's tight. That's probably dude. why I got thirty-seven you're, kids. Because you're one of them. It's not a very effective method. But. You rocked at lambskins. Oh yeah, right? I know, yeah. Fresh off. Those are the ones. Fresh off the kill. Cool. Dude, what Cat, is? You know. What's the deal with lambskin rubbers? Let's just. Right? Isn't it made out of like intestine? <laughs> No, dude. like you just you have you ever a, bought a lambskin? I'm have pretty you? sure I chucked a one or two on in my day. Yeah, yeah. and I don't they're think like I super ever dry. Have. You you have like spit in it before you put it on. <laughs> I almost <laughs> felt like <laughs> is this even this might even be worse than just regular. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god! Yeah, yeah, it's like all like like it, now I'm fucking a sheep and a suspect oh, lady. Yeah, right. I didn't even think about <laughs> oh that. You're fucking sheep innards. And what yeah, is this down. thing? made out of yeah. so what really made you nut was it the, the inside yeah. of the the lamb intestine I that think it was so really good? yeah i think so dude. Oh wow i think yeah. i nutted inside of some lamb intestine oh and God. not a yeah. horrific looking woman yeah dude like mine was super dry like i had to rehydrate it i had to soak mm. it like you it was a the, planned process you got the desert lamb skin yeah, you didn't dude. keep your fucking it was <laughs> condom humidor on <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, I, I bought it straight from a fucking straight from the source. Like I, I, dry, I killed the lamb. I dried it out. Uh, kept it shrunk on the, up on the dash out here in one twenty five. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and it was all it was like shriveled up like fish flake, dude. Custom I, fitted. I had to fucking soak that thing. I had to plan it out. Like, hey, come over around four forty five. Yeah. Because I'm gonna start soaking this lamb skin at like twelve thirty. <laughs> uh-huh. And you know, it, I had to fucking. Get it ready. Pull it out. Stretch it. It's real dry on the inside. You had to spit in a little bit. Uh huh. Did you kind of? You have to like. like, Yeah, you gotta like tie the tip. Fucking. Yeah, because it's just a tube. You know, so (laughs) so you get the extra length. You get like a like a twelve incher, so you can Uh put it on, and then you fucking double knot that shit. Seems like a lot of work. It's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, that's why I never got those. I don't it know. Is, it is a lot. But I mean, of work. was it better? Was it better than a regular fucking condom made out of the you know it was latex? it was because like once it gets fully hydrated, once it gets fully hydrated, it, it really expands and like it gets gelatinous mm. inside because the enzymes like kind of reactivate. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a fresh lamb kill though. You can't have an old dry crusty right. one. Yeah. So a fresh lamb a killed, young rehydrated. La- a young yeah. lamb. Yeah. 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 A veal. A veal. <laughs> veal skin condoms is where it's at. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's the one? Uh-huh. Because it's got, it's got the, uh, the, you know, the inside of an intestine when it moves fucking turds and processed foods. There's Different actually like, than if it's yeah, there's just little things the, in there that the like milk of the along, lung, the right? muscles help contract and contract and all that. Mm-hmm. Those things are still intact. Yeah. So it, it really, really helps out. I bet. Sounds, sounds like it. Seems super expensive. Yeah. Maybe that's why I never got Yeah, yeah, it is. And I apologize, guys. I got to be so fucking bad I can't even fucking <laughs> hang in. in. <laughs> One second. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What, what that was a good one. What happened, to, what happened to Jerry there? I missed it. I have no idea. I dude. turned around for a second. And just... I... 
he lost me at uh, mm. the last thing he was saying a long time ago. <laughs> the innards. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Once he started fucking animals, that was out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you, you draw the line. Kind of checked out. Yeah. You yeah. checked out. Huh? Yeah, that was it. That was like, I don't know. That's fair enough. I'm running. <laughs> hey, I'm running for city council, dude. Yeah. I can't be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. We all gotta shit. get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and after these messages, I got a real, I got a new heavy beef, dude. We just found. We we do I have a beef I, too? I've had a villain. Do I have a beef too, or is it a, just you? Yeah, the, yeah. All of us. The we whole all have a beef. Yeah. Okay. I've had a oh, villain oh. for a long time, and you guys have known about the villain that I've that I've been keeping in the. I feel like you darkness. have darkness. That could be anybody. You have yeah. a ton of villains. I do. God damn. But this one finally found a, a hero to oppose him. Oh. So, so now you're fighting more yeah. than one villain. You're getting no, like no. I have, I have a oh. the other side, someone to oppose the villain. I didn't have anybody to oppose the villain before. Now every hero okay. has to have a villain, right? Yeah, the villain has been there. I've been seeing the villain, mm -hmm. but the hero has just exposed himself. And after these messages from our local sponsor, Copper Steel Distillery, we'll tell you about it. Yeah, I apologize for that very unprofessional piss oh, break. Yeah, super. You're, you're way more, uh, you're better at it. All of a sudden, we'll just get asked a like an amendment question yeah. or a constitutional question. But to I, I, because here on the podcast, we like to keep up on our myself. amendments. You know. Yeah, last week what was that? We kind of yeah, we talked down why the fifteenth really shouldn't be around anymore. Yeah, because we don't have slaves anymore. It was mostly you. But yeah, it was mostly me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was defending a perspective. You know? Yeah, yeah. All right then. All right. Okay, you want to hear those things whistling? You're gonna pay the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn. You want to hear them spool <laughs> up? And full then... eco boost will get you how many gallons though? What are you talking about? If you're in full, can't you set it like I'm just gonna be an eco where it drops down no, like four not, cylinders nah, or whatever? Uh -uh. You don't have that option. No, it doesn't do that. Oh, okay. Damn. So um, what's the eco boost all about? Oh, it's a six Bang. cylinder, smaller motor with turbos on it. Maybe that's what the eco boost yeah. is. I thought that was like a they shut off cylinders to. No, uh, well, like, you were wrong. Yeah, we're gonna to sell you, you know, a smaller motor. We're gonna make it more economic, but we're gonna put some a couple of turbos, turbos on, on it. it to, Oh, on the back end, just okay. a fucking boot. That sounds just like a selling point there. You don't yeah. know That's how they got you. No Who doesn't like a little boost no, on the no, back end? No when any time I can get my back end boosted, I'm fucking a fan. Hell yeah. yeah. Sign me the fuck up. Sounds Dude, what? Like so time. we had promised some some stuff after the break. What was it? All I hear is beeps, oh, fucking dry hump in a pillow. Oh, come on, beeps. Beep, beeps. Oh, you guys just shamed her. She's had her last heat, and she's just working things out. She's getting her last little pumps out. Don't come over here with that. I'm letting her do dog type shit. You no, know? <laughs> she's an aggressive pumper though. Yeah, she's getting after it. You can tell she's young and virile. Yeah, viral, like, viral. If a dude, oh, if a I'm, suitor ever came by, like mm -hmm. he's probably getting raped. Yeah, for I sure. Mm -hmm. She might go through one or two. Like she might be like, ah, oh, you're, yeah, no. You're <laughs> kind of plow oh, yeah. through. Them. You, you ain't have pleasing to... me. <laughs> so if a, a male suitor comes by to beeps, he's she's raping him up and then she, rolling on the next one because it just, wasn't that. Yeah, no, she might just look at him and be like, uh. I've seen what I needed to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. <laughs> no, like, yeah, no. You can't. You, hey, what, what's that meme or what's that the TikTok where the guy says, you're not the one or. You're not that guy, You're pal, not that though. guy. You're not that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, she's yeah. saying. You're not that guy. <laughs> yeah, you're not that guy. <laughs> so she's going to run through a few. What do you got, dude? What are you drinking? You know what? I got some weird shit happening right now. What is it? So I had some Don Chilato yeah. with 
my Miller Lite into it, right. and I ran out of that. So then I grabbed this Raspberry uh-huh. Corona and dumped it in here. Yeah. And it is not the business. All right, let's see, dude. Because I actually happen to have one of those myself. Yeah, there you go, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna decide if that is the business or not. Yeah, it's not the business. Because I'll tell you what, I am in the business of deciding whether or not. Stuff, stuff, stuff is, is business. business. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not biz. As the business owner, I feel like I'm kind of entitled to know to a little bit of judgment on other things that are or are not the business. See, now you are probably going to have an even rougher time with it. Okay. I had I, I put six beers through this six thing. Six beers. Then hit yeah. the... Uh, with the sauce. sauce hit it yeah. with the thing. So do you hit it with the sauce first or the yeah. sauce second? No, see, you... <laughs> see, I had six beers with the sauce. All right. I got some chili limon. Do it. Don Chilada. Yo, do it. What do you, Ryan, feel like pairs best with chili limon? Dust Pineapple? I do. Strawberry? I do. Dude. Or passion fruit, or what's that other one next Ooh. to you, Chris? The raspberry. I, raspberry. I say the pineapple. Yeah. Or the reds. I'm gonna go with pineapple. Okay. Yeah, I say pineapple. Too. So where's my shiv at, bro? Yeah, where's that shiv? God dang. Let me see Grandpappy's shiv. Shiv. Careful. Up. That'll cut your dick off. Right? Yeah. So how, many, how many young boys is that castrated? Six. Hundred. Six hundred Six hundred thousand foreskins into that damn. blade. It's kind like of a Mayan blade. blade. And it's All still right. sharp as shit. So you're saying dust and, first and then drink. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Sprinkle a little bit of that thing. What did, what did the Facebook say? Thing. Strawberry? All right. All right. No. <laughs> now what you're going to do is you're going to pour slow because that thing's going to foam up harder than a rabid fucking raccoon. All right. <laughs> Seems so reasonable. exactly like that, yeah. All right. All right. Tim, that did not... Foam up hard as all. Then more dust. Then hit it with that dust. <laughs> and I'm right. gonna try the. I'm gonna try the passion fruit. Hear that? Listen to the sizzle of that thing. It's working, dude. My fucking Miller, dude. That thing was fucking filling up. That kind of looks like it's got a little bit of a Chico stick vibe to it. <laughs> yeah, there's something different with the seltzer water. That shit does <sighs> not foam up the same. Oh, Brian. Oh, girl. <laughs> hey, he's I mean, it's pretty think? good, dude. Is it's it? Cool yeah. Does it taste like Cancun? What does it taste like? Mm. Mm. It kind of tastes like the Grande Presidential. <laughs> That's what we call that right there. Yeah. The Grande Presidential. <laughs> Seems fitting. For sure. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, there. That's going to really do it. That's going to add it the It was kick. missing that. It was. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell that's what it was needing. Because this was actually the spicy one. Ooh. But I wasn't really getting the spicy vibe. Yeah, it's the spicy. dawn. It's yeah. the dawn of the chiladas. Now it so, is. Of course it has to have that. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of spice to that. So, you remember the movie Stargate, right? One of the best movies ever. Tell me what your initial thought of it was. Like, what what the key five points? I mean, I was a super fan that there was just this gate that would open up to another dimension. And then you could travel to and from it. And then the... It was almost like a Egyptian. Were they, I was gonna, sort that's of, what I was gonna ask. Were they Egyptian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and was like, it like future Egyptian or like they were future for sure Egyptian. because they had like these staffs and they would talk like in this cool voice like jump, jump, keep calm, boom, and they'd be <laughs> shooting these fucking staff yeah, fucking I'm, beams. You're out. right, dude. They did yeah. have staff beams. Yeah, and I was fucking super damn. Do you remember bad. the pedophilia in it? Huh? <laughs> there was pedophilia. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. You, remember, yeah, what? you remember the guy who drove, basically drove the pyramid? <laughs> it was raw. Yeah. He drove it. Yeah. It was raw like was the pyramid the was like actually an alien spaceship, and it could kind of fucking 
Mm-hmm. Go from here to there. And he was banging some preteens? Uh, that's all he had surrounding him the entire yeah. time. He did. He had a, 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 Pull a gang that up. of kid, kids right. around him. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He did have some youngers. All preteen boys, no girls. Yeah. Stargate kids. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. no there it talking, is, dude. The oh my goodness. There that's it is. That's right. Tell dude. me. That's right. That seems super fucking weird. Super but that's gross. how they that's how they got down back in the day though. With all preteen children? Yeah, dude. I mean that's still going on today around the yeah, world. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, I yeah, that stuff probably happened. Yeah. I think we should it make that not a thing that happens happen. anymore. And it's still happening. Uh, Let's make it the terrible. Ah, not happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah. Let's little, make it not happen. Got a little bit of different fucking hit on it now. So let's not make Where's that dog at? marriages a thing. No, no, no. Or alien spacecraft pilot uh, teen sex slavery as well. Wait. Yeah, let's cut that thing out. Let's start there because I feel like we can really nip that in the bud pretty quickly. Right? That's yeah. a, that's like a niche market. Wait, right what there. are we talking about? Cancel Stargate. I, Cancel they made it? they made a yeah. show about it and I haven't seen one single second of it. Is it good? I don't know. I got to the to pedophilia thing dude and they kind of Lost, how many times lost my stomach? Yeah, but for how it. many times have we heard like, well, that's just how they were back then, you know? Whoa, look oh. at that, dude. Well, back then, yeah. I mean, whatever, dude. Sorry. Right? I mean, hey, come on. You can't hate on the time. Like they were doing different stuff back yeah, then. Yeah, you can't hate you know? on the time. That was acceptable then. Like it's fucking gross to us now. Yeah. But hey, that was acceptable then. So you can't be like, hey, cancel that. Yeah. Because that's how everybody was. was rolling. Everybody was, was doing interstellar, interstellar preteen pedophilia. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anytime a fucking 12 no year old alien like rolled through a Stargate, I would fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, what happened? Yeah. I'm fucking 12 year old Stargate girls. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, they're from another tr- inner tr- dimension. Like, it, it ain't even no thing. You didn't even <laughs> say with all due respect before. I you don't said need that. to. I don't. Where they came from? Do we from, need to hit it with a? Do they we came it? from twenty-seven light years away, and they came here and they said, "Hey, I'm twelve in oh. in, in their years. I'm a, I'm a, I want to have sex. I want to impregnate." And you're like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fucking dip my shit in yeah. that." Interstellar, but you were, you were weighing heavy on the light years. Yeah, you're like, yeah, you're 12, but also 27. They're light right? years, so it's but this liter- 12 light years. Yeah, so she's actually like 37,000 years old. <laughs> yeah, in my time, so it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Depending on what jurisdiction you're in, that yeah. might pass. Yeah, that might be good. So she comes to you at eight years of age, but she's actually like. 197 million years old. <laughs> you're smashing. Yeah, I see what you're, you're saying. You're smashing. I see what you're saying. Don't fake the fuck. I mean, it's, yeah. it's super questionable. If an alien okay. came down and wanted and to she fuck she looked you. like she was 12, but just because she traveled through space, yeah. she was actually 25, but she still was in the body of a 12-year-old? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd have an issue with that. You'd have an issue yeah, with that? for sure. If she had, like, nipple buds, that's <laughs> no, where you draw I'm the line? No, I'm not. No, that's mm-hmm. ridiculous. Yeah, that's where you draw the line? Yeah. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, mm. the whole nipple bud thing is where I'm exiting. Is that, that's it? Uh, yeah. So I, I dated I dated this three year old one time. Oh my <laughs> inter- Space gal- years or inter- yeah, galactic yeah. real three year old? Yeah, yeah. Inter- Earth inter- years. Interdimensional. It's like an in- <laughs> inception kind of thing. You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, but in all real talk, I did have I did have a relation with this careful, lady. Careful, I know she was of age. Dude. A Come woman. On yeah. in a galactic she was, age. She was a woman. <laughs> she was a woman. She was Earth twenty four years, years of age, and she had a tattoo <sighs> above her oh. vagina, 
and it was of a small Asian girl, like probably like no more than like four years of age. And she was gripping onto the skin of the abdomen and like the oh, the body abdomen was here it. with the hands gripping onto the, the sternum. How, how big? What are we talking about? Sounds like a pretty oh god damn. Whoa. So that the legs actually were on her legs and the vagina of the small girl was no. Her vagina. I'll believe you. Oh, was she? I'll believe you. Was it was it crying or was it, it was, like yeah, smiling? Uh, like it what was, was the face? It was crying. <laughs> it was red faced and crying. I'm not buying it. It was pay now, play later, or pay, play now. Pay her name. Later. Her name. Her name was Mama San. <laughs> oh God. It was during one of my many Holy tours shit. overseas. Okay. <laughs> overseas. <laughs> right. You mean to the California side of the lake? <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking, I go to the casino a lot, so wild talking, shit happens over ass. there. <laughs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're 102 for, 100, 102 for episodes, for two episodes, for there you go. 104 two episodes. Do you have a stroke? Into these, <laughs> into these doing of the podcast. And we've been keeping the hate up lately, which I like. I appreciate from you guys, dude. So I want to spread a little bit more hate this oh, week, dude. No. We beefed with Canada last week, a.k.a. British, British North, North America, America mm-hmm. right? Let's train our sights in on California, dude. Oh, oh that's an no. easy target. That's an easy target, dude. It is. Why that's are we doing that? Just to hate, just to spread the hate, yeah. Spread the hate. Just if to you be got hate, hate in your heart, let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you, you guys all know Santa Ana. Uh huh. You've been to Santa Ana. Uh huh. Supposed to be nice, right? I have not. Mm. That I stayed at a hotel one time on what? One Star Mark uh-huh. in Santa Ana. It, uh-huh. it was. If you, I mean, if you live in Southern California or know about Southern California, Santa yeah. Ana's not where you're trying to stay. All right. Well, then that all makes sense too. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Santa Ana is a Mexican general. Mm, and he was yeah. basically on the tail end of the ass whooping that the, the Mexicans got really? in Texas. Texas. Right? Wow. So he got sent out. He got his leg blown off at some point. Right? And so after he got his ass busted at the Alamo and sent packing and the mexican government was had to be like hey dude you gotta roll out dude because we're not we can't do that no more against those texans those, those texans yeah <laughs> it wasn't even america at that point it was just straight texas people so he got sent packing and uh apparently he after fe- his leg got blown off yeah, or before his- like no he got sent packing after his leg so his, his leg, leg had got been blown, blown off oh, okay. but he didn't really and then f- he got back in the fight Kind of maybe in the outskirts, in the rear. Oh, okay, you know, respect. He might have rolled up every once in a while in a like a buggy or something. But then retreated yeah. to the back. Yeah, he, he had to. <laughs> he had Rosa <laughs> Park. Yeah, like he came out there and shouted some stuff, and but, then fucking. But yeah, <laughs> they took him to the yeah. rear. He did a couple of William Wallace <laughs> fucking inspirational changes. That's what I'm saying. That he he was about he was talking about it, but he wasn't really about to be about it. And he felt so salty about the situation that his leg had went into that. He made them exhume his shriveled up, oh blown off God. leg and give that thing a proper burial with like the fucking <laughs> the 12 gun salute. 12 yeah. gun salute yeah, to whole his leg. Parade and all that, man. <laughs> yeah. On the outskirts. Where do you of, think they dug that thing up wait from? A like, so they, uh, they, they, were they, were they Nacogdoches, Texas. Were they burying these severed limbs? Yeah. Back in I old, need to be clear. Old Mex. <laughs> Santa Ana. I need to be clear. So this, this was a dude who died already, Mm-mm. but mm. they exhumed his no, severed, leg. So his leg got buried by itself? Did yeah. it get blown off with like yeah. a cannon? So this or? isn't in recent times. No, man. Like he died and they <laughs> exhumed his legs. Santa Ana, hey, bro. We're talking about Texas fighting with Mexico. Yeah, it's before, Where have you been? It's wild Why'd me- they bury his leg? <laughs> because, it's, I mean, that's just shit they did I back mean, then. that's what I'm asking. Are we sure they buried it? Like, yeah. Is that what they were doing with 
severed limbs at that time? His. Yeah. So a dude lost his leg. <laughs> and they Santa fucking... Anna, not a dude. So, yeah. Santa Anna lost the leg, and they put it in a casket yep. and buried it. Yep. And on the battlefield. On the battlefield, and at some point he was like, nah, dude, this wasn't enough. Enough, yeah. We they, need maybe to they put it in bring a that box. thing back up to yeah. the yeah. surface. So we can salute it. Yeah. Give it the twenty-one Give it the guns. Twenty-one guns. Guns. salute. <laughs> yep. Hold the flag. Yep. Hand it to me. Yep. Because it's my leg. Uh huh. And then rebury my yep. shit. Yep. It's like a resurrection of sorts. Yep. Wow. And so like when Jesus came back, but then died again. It was like a mm. necromancer of its time. <clears throat> yeah, he felt like his leg didn't get his the due the due process he thought it should should have had the proper burial. So. Hey, he if, dug it up. If I ever lose a limb, let's just do it Santa Ana style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll just drink well, no, beers. Santa, It'll Santa seem... Ana style is not good because he, in doing that, everybody was like, bro. Oh, so he got shunned after Yeah. That. You're, no, like he was all about it. He was like, yeah, let's raise this. And he was like, resurrect this leg. That's the fucking like, pow, pow yeah. hit him with the shots and all that. And all the... All the people were like, uh -huh. they weren't buying it. And then he was like, oh, yeah. we're not, I'm we're not, not taking we're not doing Saturday that? Yeah. off for this. They're like, <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> they're like, no, yeah. I'm not going to gather in the town square. Yeah. To I got corn and shit to yeah. harvest. I'm, I'm not coming down yeah. to this fucking re-leg burial. Yeah. So basically, yeah. that was that Black was listed. the end of, old Santa of, Anna. of Mexico in Texas mm. because he tried to fucking pull that old... My and, and that's dead what, leg didn't get enough f props on right. its way out, and I'm gonna resurrect my my dead leg and make y'all get props. And the community wasn't <laughs> all about that. Life. Oh, so they got upset and they were like, "Yeah, they're yeah. like, fuck your leg, bro. You're doing this yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I barely even remember your bitch ass leg. I've never right. even seen you walk. Now I get a fucking march again down <laughs> right? Main Street in a parade. <laughs> This is, I got, this yeah, is some bulls. I, I got to go to church on Sunday. Yeah, I got to give up a, like a food tax for this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, you, you know, they had to, you know, taxate the, the, the people that lived there so yeah. they could fucking dig it up yeah. and do yeah. this proper burial. Bulls weren't cheap at I've that got, time. I've got fucking crops that need tending to. Right. Mm -hmm. Fucking. Pigs that need dealing with. And yeah, nobody's trying yeah. to come well, around. Betsy's giving birth to her right. third calf. Like you got time for all this stuff. I'm, you know? I'm with you guys, Tim. Yeah, a hundred percent. But if you happen to lose a limb, you want that same procession? <clears throat> no, I don't, dude. You don't need that. I don't. <coughs> you know what I would think these, would be cool these days and times is you if can't I even get your if I back. lose my leg, yeah, we're gonna fucking make a cast out of it that's right. hollow, hollow, and then you guys get to do fucking. Boot fucking beers. Yeah. How would that be? Yeah. What That's what we'll do. If I we ever lose my leg, we can do hammers out of uh -huh. your fucking yeah. hollowed out leg cast. Fucking, we'll fill it with some St. Pauli girls, so you guys could feel like I'm down. Like it's Oktoberfest, you know. I'm down. I will do Oktoberfest. I hope you lose your femur leg. because I feel like we could fit the most liquid in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if I ever go to a concert, dude, I'm like, hey, V, you got to roll with so we can put the fucking yeah. pints in your fucking yeah. haul it out leg. <laughs> yep. The oh, fucking yeah. nine bottles of wine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's going to look like a bunion on the side, but it's actually a little tap mm -hmm. so we can hold it up and fucking off my, shoot off my out, fucking shoot leg. Shoot the big toe. This is shooters. if my leg is gone uh -huh. and we fabricate something. Yeah. Yep. The yeah. haul it out leg shoot. You know we're going to fabricate something. But now you listen to fucking keg leg. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Next on the website, the yeah. hollowed out. Now you listen, keg leg. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm good. But yeah. buy the stank sock so first. we can we can yeah get rid of those. You first. have to buy that in order to get on the list for the keg yeah. leg. Yeah, and if you have a keg leg, what better way to you know hide that thing than Dude, a now you a listen stank sock? sock. <laughs> <laughs> Come it's on, like man. our whole Full business thing. plan is <laughs> <For the shit. laughs> That would be pretty dope. Yep. Just to have like in your will. Yeah. You know how some Keg people donate organs. Yeah. You don't even got to go to Shark Tank for that pitch, mm -hmm. dude. We, we settled it for you. And that's why we're balling so out of control over we here, too. We are. We are. Come on, now. 
You guys saw where we were we're all going on vacation, right? Yup. Cancun. Big ballin'. The Via de los Palmar. Seventy one hundred square feet of pure fucking awesomeness. That grand that grand presidential. Yeah. That shit is fucking dope as fuck. Those fucking of bathrooms it is, dude. and dude, the, like just the, from the tile setters aspect, that yeah. shit is fucking badass. Interesting, it's different stuff that nobody's doing around here, and that's why it's a work trip for me. Of course, because trip. I'm <laughs> headed down there to check out some new styles and yeah. things that I can bring back. There you go. To us, they're heavy nice. on the onyx and the bamboo. Yeah, and the rainforest marble. It looked like as well. Yeah, rainforest marble. Mm hmm. But we're doing it right, dude, and we're doing it good. And we're doing it all just like we should. Presidential style. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Presidential style? Yeah. What have we got left in this piece of junk podcast, dude? Hmm. <laughs> well, you got something on the uh, list, don't you? Yeah. Um, ooh. You got some apologies to, li- to deliver, correct? I do. You do. I do. Well, let them have it. Is that her name? Yeah. (laughs) Nope. It's not Pam Jonas. It's Pam Bonar. Is that who I'm apologizing to? Uh Pam Bonar? Bomar. That's so so disrespectful. You don't even know who you need to apologize to? I know her name's Pam, but I don't know where the last name is. Let's call her Pam then. Hey. Come on, brother. I'm trying, dude. That is so disrespectful. Come on, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping up and being a man and issuing an apology. Is this gonna be a proper apology? It's like gonna be it? a proper. <coughs> so here's the thing, there is a very wonderful lady named Pam. A lot of people say the best, the best, the best Pam. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm sorry I don't know your last name, but we had a little conversation a while Bomar. back. I think it was like episode like I don't know, 101. One, 130. It was a while back, right? Like 101 or something. Yeah. Way back. Yeah. And she was talking about sunflower seeds, and she was naming the brand Biggs. And I'm an avid sunflower yeah. seed eater, and Biggs to me was like fucking inferior seeds, child slave labor, like mm. yeah, they did. They, they whoa, source whoa, their whoa. they source their seeds from Guatemalan sex slave Viet- farms. Vietnam yeah. is that where they're coming yeah. from? Yeah, they they fertilize their seeds with the the human ejaculants from child Ooh. rape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, is basically what, what we're saying. Bigs? Yeah, that's big. You yeah. sure about that? Yeah, they're dumping big loads in hey, their soil. I just want to say <laughs> oh that yeah. the yeah. the opinions. Express in the Now You Listen podcast do not necessarily represent the opinions represented on the Now You Listen podcast. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We'll, we'll throw that. We're thing good. Out there. We're good now. Yeah. So you go. With all due respect, <laughs> Biggs only grows their sunflower seeds from the spunk of oh. rape child victims. Mm. With all due respect. Mm-hmm. So no I, disrespect. Yeah, no disrespect. Just <laughs> with all due respect, as well as. No disrespect. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I told her, like, hey, there is no sunflower seed from Biggs that is tasty because all of them have child rape spunk on them. Oh my God. <laughs> With all due respect. No disrespect. No disrespect. And little did I know that one of my actual fla- favorite sunflower seed flavors is dusted with child rape seed oh wait <laughs> like a flavor or? with all due respect with all due respect no disrespect no disrespect <laughs> was it a flavor yeah so apparently they're 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 dusting with takis over that's there. asian boys asian boys asian boys Isn't are dusting what is that what they're doing with? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. I never had a Taki, so I don't know. But no, that's I'd because I was heard it was more dusted. of a Mexican type of Is it? Is it more of a Mexican shit. flavor? I, I, it was not Asian. I would guess. It's not Asian. Asian. It is it Taki. Be, is it, is Asian? it Asian? I, I think it, it is. I always thought it was Asian. I was confused when I tasted it. I've tasted a, a lot. <laughs> 
Got a lot of <laughs> child spunk. Is yeah. that what you, <laughs> I thought, that what I you thought about it. that before I actually said it. Oh my god! Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, yes, actually. I did. That's why. <laughs> I've tasted a oh I've tasted god. a lot of child spunk. <laughs> child spunk to be able to distinguish between the different variations of race and ethnicity oh and all god. that. But this one confounded me. And I wasn't sure where it came from, so how much research? Uh, I mean are you approved by the American child spunk? <laughs> yeah, the uh, SPA did sanction all of my research. Is that the, sp- the Spunk Tasters Association? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they basically like, STA. You know, yeah, there's a whole like a like just a whole bunch of cylinders of spunk. And you just fucking shoot them back, and then you you like educate yourself. Yeah, because they each you have, swish you know. it. Do you eat some ch- <laughs> semen flight? Yeah. Do you eat some cheese between each one? I mean, you can. The palate? It's, it's mostly like toast. Oh, toast man. really cleanses the palate some of from hard, childhood. Hey, some hard little sourdough things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, nope. yeah, yeah. hey, if you guys ever wonder why nobody can fuck with our podcast, <laughs> oh it's because. <laughs> It's, of this. it's too out of control. <laughs> it's out of control. This is probably this might be the one that gets us canceled a hundred percent. Yeah. This is the one that's gonna you. make us famous. Yeah. yeah. I mean so yeah, as Nobody's I was Nobody's ta- doing child spunk flights. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and I was I was tasting those things out of that like clay pot, you know, like like the, oh, the big no. dome it's that, getting, they, that they jump in and they slap the fucking bread dough to and they cook it inside. <laughs> like, you eat that with... <laughs> I don't know that fucking... <laughs> you lost me. You're not familiar with you that lost one? me. It's like this big-ass clay dome that's buried yeah. in the earth and they take I've it never, out. Hey, personally, I've never had no child spunk. So <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that I'm could taking, be where your first I'm problem I'm just taking is. the ride with you. Okay, okay. And I would never imagine eating it on bread. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like... Is that I, what, I think it's called... Is that what people do? Yeah, it's like an in-ground fire dosa, I think is what they call it. <laughs> a, sp- and, a spunk bread? Like, yeah, really yeah, yeah, it's very aerated and it releases the... I would uh, imagine. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, real yeah. fluffy. Yeah. Yes. Real fluffy. <laughs> oh so, so, you know, I, I tried a few. And there was one that stuck out in particular. And, you know, that's the one that I was really kind of gravitated towards. And I'm not going to name the region because I don't want him to be singled Bulgaria? out as to be the single most flavorful spunk. Bulga- Bulgaria. They've been known for their flatbread. How did you that, know? With that real crusty cap, dude. I think it was, what, a 11 and a half meters? Yeah, see, that's the thing. They, they, Peak. Peaked. They, it. They put, it peaked at that. They, they, they put a layer of spunk, and then they let it dry and crust, mm-hmm. and then you flake that's that off. That's spilled off of hey, it. Hey, that and spunk then what's yeast. Underneath, the spunk yeast. The spunk yeah. yeast so you guys wet. know more about it than you're letting on. Yes, that shit. Fucking. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Spunk, re- spunk you can't, yeast rises. You can't spelunk in nothing that's got no spunk yeast. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know? That's. Spunk that's yeast rises essential. tall. That's essential. Yeah. Tall rising. Re- they say spunk yes. yeast is the building blocks of life. They do, they do say that. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> They've been saying that, and I hope they keep saying it too. <laughs> <laughs> they might not though after this episode <laughs> out of control hey good thing nobody ever makes it to the end of these things dude nobody does earlier like when you said you were going to put on like this final flannel like I saw that it was had no sleeves but god damn dude that's like oh yeah dude that's, that's fully vented up. yeah because Sometimes you might need to wear a flannel. Oh! <laughs> that's a good, that's a good wad you got right there. Oh my goodness! What's it taste like? Use Old Spice. <laughs> no. Uh. Uh-uh. The axe. Axe body. Wow. I don't know. It's, it's black. Whatever Phoenix. it is, it's a black. Axe it's Phoenix. Black Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. More of the research you've yeah. been doing? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're due for another wipe. 
right. I mean, I'm only like four four hours out of the shower. No, it's, it's, it's actually pretty flavorful. All right. Hell uh, yeah. Good. That's, a, that's good to know. Let me wash that down. There you go. Uh, hey, tell me that, that, that spicy strawberry ain't good. You know what? That's not bad, dude. Get a, get a, here, that one's unmolested right there. That's actually not bad at all. Get a fresh lick off of that. <laughs> it's not, huh? <laughs> no, that's way better than what I was having. Mm-hmm. You heard it and here to first. And wash down your armpit hairs? Yeah, yeah. that's fucking, that's killer. Strawberry. Not the passion fruit. No. You need strawberry. This. It was strawberry. Uh, strawberry Corona with the Don Michelada. What are we calling that one? The the underage. Is it? Is that <laughs> was it? Is that the one? Yeah. That one. Really Arnie, you coined that one. I just drank it. Yeah. Me? What, what was. was what was Chris calling it? I can't remember. I just know I was eating it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh, the Black Phoenix, right? No, I don't feel like it was that. It wasn't Black Phoenix. It's not called Black anything. It's too risky these days. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't do that during Black History Month. Come on, <laughs> have some respect. True. Too risky these days. Why is it that the Black History Month is the shortest month of the year? Because Joe Bush. Joe Bush hates white people. Joe Bush? <laughs> Joe Bush. <laughs> yeah. Joe Bush. But, I mean, Black History Month was Joe well Bush. before Joe Bush. Joe Bush. Uh, who is Joe Bush? I don't know who Joe Bush is. <laughs> I just know that the month we designated to the blacks is the shortest <laughs> month of the God. year. Don't say the blacks. <laughs> I mean, what? come on now. I mean, come on. No. <laughs> the blacks is racist. Is it racist? I don't really know. That I don't know how to navigate this man. shit, dude. I'm not racist at all. So, like, I, my insensitivity is mm. there's none. Naive, naive. naive yeah, I, I border on naive because yeah. because I don't care. Like, call me what you will. Yeah. Say what you will. I'm not gonna get offended by it. Some people would, though. Some people would, but it's fine. Everybody dude. would at this point. You're I'm doing, sorry <laughs> for you. You're fine in my book, bud. You're doing great. I don't know. Yeah, we ain't going to make fun of you, though. <laughs> What's up with that? Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm in the inside of the thing. That's usually how I like to do it. Yeah. What I'm saying? So again, I, I want to revisit Tim's Tim's flannel there, dude. It's like when what you need one? your midsection to be like, <coughs> yeah. What, what temperature is that essential? Good, good, and kind of the, not the best. So like mid sixty nine degrees. That's that's like the flannel you want to be wearing, where it's kind of the sun's yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Sun's out, guns out. The this guns are out. Mm, yeah. But then maybe you need some extra ventilation because mm-hmm. it's super humid. Yeah. I feel like Tim's a prime candidate for some nipple rings. Yeah. Tim, Tim has a good nipple for a ring. In I, I, I've i always been a little bit insecure about how small my it nipples are. It is kind of tiny. They're kind of Whoa! Oh, dude, you guys are being so Are we allowed to wait, wait, wait. We He should, does have wait, wait, a wait, dainty wait. nipple. Right? Oh, we should not even be saying that. Oh, no, <laughs> dude. You guys are really fucking crushing hey, it. We're not to trying to a... get canceled. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. Dainty, dainty nipples is where we no! get canceled. Huh? No. No, it's nipple challenged. Nipple Come on. challenged? Yeah. yeah, we don't. Hey, mm-hmm. we're not trying to get canceled. Nipple don't def- be super nipple disrespectful. Deficient. <laughs> nipple deficient? Yeah. It'd have to be a really thin ring. You know? So I it do. doesn't yeah. make the nipple. Look at, <laughs> like, with a, like a six gauge, huh? It's All right, very I'm, tiny. I'm just going to put it on the internet into my own. My th- do you my do you shave or pluck that nipple. nipple hair? Is that all natural right there? Because no. that <laughs> does not look natural. I'll knock it down a little bit, dude. I don't Do want, you shave any I don't want other the part of your chest? 
I mean, I I knock it down, bro. <laughs> that that that's your natural growth right there. Yeah. How are you so abundant up top and so lackluster down below? Don't know. I don't understand that. Her ain't my thing. <laughs> I am lackluster here, but yeah. I got it on the chest and yeah. nipples for show. Yeah. And my the, the butthole. Your butt, your my butthole is up. fucking flourishing. Dude, yeah. on Sherwood fleet. Forest yeah. up in there. I could barely fucking... My armpit hair connects to my nipples and connects up to my chest, but it fucking separates over here. No, look at... See, that's all just bare bones, brother. Ain't nothing there. What? Yeah. I'm fucking dumbfounded right now. Yeah, you look like you kind of are. What about you, Chris? What do you got? You got some nipple hair? A little bit, like probably like Tim. A little chest mm-hmm. tuft? And then like some right here. I yeah. knock it down, yeah. yeah. Not a ton. Yeah. Mm-mm. Dude, my nipple hair is way fucking Yeah, let's see yours. Right. What do yours look like? Oh. Oh, God. Look at that thing. Yeah, no, mine would oh, look. Mine would look mad wispy like <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, dude. Look at the fucking nipple hairs on that. Fucking I mean, you kind of got a man's chest hair. Beefy, yeah. beefy nipples. <laughs> yeah. Beefy nipple hairs. You're still that's that's still the Hootieville of fucking chests. Hootieville chest. Yeah. What does that yeah. mean? That means he ain't got no Dan Severin. No, where no. you just fucking beast it out. Yeah, I ain't got no Dan Severin chest hair. But you got some kind of middle of the road stuff. Like uh, my my chest hair ain't even in the game. So no, it's not, yeah. But it's like, but you can grow all the things. Right I know here. all the things. Yeah, puffed out fucking stash. But my fucking chode. I get the, I get the poof here, and the, and I can get even out the yeah. side. But my chode balls and like all of that thing is on Your neck, on fleek. dude, you can really you get like neck a, yeah. You feel like yeah. you had to stay on top of it? Like, he does have a hairy neck. Dude, yeah. like you're fucking oh, down this here? Like, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. That thing's fucking mushroom cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Hiroshima the down A-bomb. here. Yeah. A-bomb ball hair. <laughs> his his shit's got to go through a fucking mushroom cloud of hair to <laughs> exit the other side. <laughs> yeah. Every time he shits, it looks like a fucking a yeah. bomb going. <laughs> yeah. The hair going. I cracked porcelain. Like, <laughs> as soon as I step on the toilet, dude, I got to park. I'm like Moses. I got the tablets. And I smash them every time so every I can part time. the Red Sea so I can take a dump. Break out the fucking little box with the key. and yeah, I got unlock unlocked Pandora's box. Oh, that looks like Pandora's box, dude. <laughs> yeah. My shit is fucking hairy as shit everywhere but where I need to grow a beard. Dude, I remember you pulling your butt out. Ha- butthole out to people on the Parker tube float and people being like oh god put that away yeah, you, were like, <laughs> you need to go home dude I went up on the like a floating stripper pole and I was like what's up girl and then we were all dancing uh-huh. and then I bent over and flopped out my fucking hairy bunghole Ooh. and I got pushed yeah. off the stripper pole Yeah, hit a tube woke up didn't know where I was because you know when you you come to and you, you yeah get the when water you get out. knocked out and you come to in the middle of a lake yeah, you don't know which dude. fucking rat you don't know where to hey, you're at don't go to a stripper pole stripper pole party and not have your junk fucking yeah. dialed in there. yeah right. don't bring your a, I was fucking you gotta lost. bring your a game butthole yeah. I was that day yeah I like, know. that's kind of your fault like, my you a game known. dude I don't trim up for shit nope. I don't trim shit. No, nope. I got all natural down there. All natch. Lady loves it. Loves it. I think because maybe I can't grow everything else, but mm-hmm. she, she just wants. She to tells me, "Hit hey, her with the bow, hey weak, baby boy." Weak on the face. Yeah. Bow out the back. Yeah. So. <laughs> and Mama loves it. Yeah. Mama she, doesn't like a shave. Mama way. loves eating some fucking <laughs> furry rub ass. It on oh. You. oh yeah. <laughs> she likes giving dome and getting floss yeah. at the same time. Oh, That's God. Tristan uh-huh. underscore. A lot of pheromones. If yep. you keep that fucking yep. shit. I keep them strategically placed so I can hit the molars. The bicuspids, uh-huh. and then when she's fucking hitting back and forth, I just strategically place them, and we can hit all the fucking. We, you don't all even have the, to go to the dentist. Dude. All the pheromones are uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. And in the you're, face. You're flossing every one of them teeth. <laughs> nice. That's how I roll, baby. It's really cool, dude. My balls look like your chin. <laughs> Less crinkle though. Could we be done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Now, you listen. Listen.